All the leaves are certainly going brown. And now in beauty, Trudy is back with what we have to look forward to in the autumn season for makeup trends. How are you doing, Trudy? Good, how are you? I'm good, not loving the weather, to be honest with you. Oh, I love a change of season because it's all about new beauties. So and then you great. can buy some more products. Exactly. Right? exactly. Okay, so new season brings new makeup look. So what can we expect? I guess the three strongest trends would be lots of glow-getting primers, um, shimmery, beautiful shimmery blushes and bronzers um, that are luminous and make your complexion look great. And there's a real mood towards wearing one shade for the eyes, cheeks and lips. Oh. Which I absolutely love because I'm really lazy. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and when I have to try and think about how I'm going to blend things together, um, I always get really like, oh, what am I going to do? The other one is liquid liners. So you need to master the art of that because they're everywhere. And lining on the top and bottom. And the bottom. That's yep. the one I can't do really well. And I've got I, a tip for that. I'll, I, do you want to give it now? Okay. Go on. So what you need to do when you're applying a liquid liner on yourself and you're not sure is look down into a mirror and anchor your elbow on a table mm. and sort of slightly stretch the eyelid and then apply it when you're looking down. Uh. Because if you're sitting up looking in the mirror, you're looking up and yeah. you go like that, the first thing that happens when you blink is you get it on your top Big lid. blob. Yeah. Right. And if you anchor your arm, it yep. actually gives you a bit of stability when you're doing so it. And like looking down, it allows the liner to dry before you open your eye or, you know, I look up and open your eye again. Oh, I love your tips. Yeah, it's so easy when you do that. Yeah, okay. And don't try and draw one full line, you know, go dash dot, like yeah. just follow a little sort of pattern with small little dash dots and then join the line together. Oh, great tip. Okay, yeah. I'm going to try that. Yeah. Um, now, the other thing I want to know is if there's all this skin glowing, all the rest of it, how do you get your, sort of, your skin glowing from within? Yeah, well, you have to sort of start with your health and well-being with that. You know, eating well, drinking lots of water, less rosé. Um, and really just sort of a, a little bit of exercise. You know, I think people don't realise how good exercise is for their skin because it gets your blood pumping around mm -hmm. your body and your skin glows once you've exercised or you've done some exercise physical exercise and it's really good for you too. Alright, so I'm loving the idea of one colour for your eyes, your cheeks, yeah. your lips. So how can you do that? Like, Well there's a lot more um, sort of pretty shades that are coppery, almost like um, a, a tinted sort of bronzy colour but they've got a bit of red in them, like a russet. Right. So you can use that on the lid. It can make you look a bit tired if you haven't got a bit of liner with it. And then just transition it down to a soft sort of raspberry colour on the cheeks and then a glossy sheer look in the same tone on the lips. I thought when you were saying lazy that I'd have one product to rule them all. Well, you know what? I do that. Do you? Yeah, what? I do. I've often popped eyeshadow on as blush and popped a little bit of eyeshadow on with a lip gloss, uh, a clear lip gloss. There are no rules today with makeup. It's safe to wear anywhere. I mean, obviously, if you've got sensitive eyes, you'll think this glittery trend might be a little bit full on. Yeah, yeah. But generally, you know, test it out, give yourself a little patch test, you know, behind the ear just to make sure it's okay and go for it. Now, the other thing that was on trend there for a long time was like these massive mono brows that were yeah. taking over. What's on trend now for the eyebrow? Definitely a very groomed brow. Okay. Um, probably not quite as thick, but definitely beautifully groomed. And the difference it makes when you groom your brow is quite startling. Mm -hmm. It can actually take 10 years off your face. I, um, I had mine done the the other week and the girl was amazing because she actually dyed my eyebrows because mine are quite light yes and then waxed them so I got the shape with the light yeah brow. it made a huge difference when you're not wearing makeup and I tell people when they say what am I gonna do with my brows I say go to a brow bar yeah. get a professional service get them waxed get them tinted um, if, if you've got gaps you know look at maybe some brow um, tattooing you know light feather stroke tattooing it makes such a big difference and there's so many great places now to go what's the other thing that's in at the moment planing or something with the eyebrow? oh what's yeah that's been around for a while yeah a micro blade planing um, and also to get rid of that fluffy fur on the face right um, it's it's kind of a deep exfoliation, really, but that does does work. I mean, it's a bit scary, I've yeah. got to say. Um, threading's still around too for brows. Um, waxing's great. Plucking, you know, there's. I just say get them done. Get them done, but it's professionally. A it's a Try pretty it. service to get them yeah. done. If you get them done, then you can follow the shape yourself. Well, that's it. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, let's get on to product. That's okay. what we're here for. So um, there's lots going on in the luminizing primer department, and I brought a couple in. This one is um, Infallible from L'Oreal Paris, which is great. It's very glittery and. Um, 
you would just put it strategically where you want some shimmer. This is another one from Bobbi Brown. It's all over glow and it's part of their Capri collection. And Ooh. if you're not going to Capri, Holly, no. you can actually bring it to your face just by applying that, which is nice. Um, lots of glitter. You know, these glitter lip, um, eyeliners and glitter shadows from Mecca and MAC have just launched a glitter desert. Can you go too glittery? Like, can there be too much glitter? Well, I would have said no because I'm a bit of a magpie. But, um, <laughs> it's where you put it. You know, right. just strategic. And you can see with that, it's such yep. a fine wand. And when you've done your black liner, you could just pop a little bit of glitter over the top, really close to the lashes. So you you're know, not putting it all over, you're right? You're not just doing disco ball. You're no. just doing strategically placed, really youthful, pretty bit of glitter. And it looks really nice when you close your eyes, open and close your eyes. Um, another one, a really great brand that I love, Urban Decay, um, Moondust. Who wouldn't want Moondust on their eyelids? It's um, so, I would. It's so yes. pretty. And that's the colour I'm talking about, that russety gold yeah. shade. That actually works really well with anyone's skin tone. Uh, liquid liners. I've bought these in before, but I think they're really clever and there's lots of colours. They're shaped like a little pizza wheel. Oh, that's great. I remember you said Yeah, that. and Very they really cool. help guide along that line. Um, and I guess the last trend I wanted to quickly talk about was lipstick. The bullet is back. You know, the, the bullet. The bullet. We've been um, living with liquid lipsticks for a long time. And loving them but the actual lipstick bullet is back and I love this it's a L'Oreal Paris collaboration with Balmain who are an incredibly amazing brand and really on trend right now and doing great things um, and I just thought well if you can't buy a piece of Balmain fashion you can get a lippy. You can get, you know, a $25 lipstick. They're telling me we're way over time because we just got too yeah. interested I in know. that. It's you fantastic. Can't stop me. You can't For stop more me. info from Trudy, because you know you want it, head to our website, beautyeq.co.nz.